is enough and it's time for a change What's up everybody, it's Gilbert Blaze here back with another video. So I want to talk about some WWE. So last night we had Raw, it was the second 3 hour Raw in a row we had, and next week we're going to have another gimmick kind of Raw, which I've never seen like Raw done, like 3 gimmick Raws in a row, so I'm guessing they're really, you know, desperate for the ratings here. But I gotta say, last night had like some ups and downs. Overall, I, I thought Raw was a decent show, I didn't think it was really all that. But I will say, they did some things there last night that was really cool. Let's talk about CM Punk really fast. He's been on a major winning streak, and it's because, obviously, his contract is ending, and you know WWE is trying to throw him a bone. They want him to stay, so they're finally making him win matches, and now they've made him a number one contender. You know, a lot of people was up in arms on you know, Twitter, talking about, oh, God, he's going to really quit. He's going to really leave WWE. Nothing is set in stone right now. But it is kind of obvious that he's not going to win the title. There's no way they're going to let him win the title and walk out. So in that sense, the main event is going to be kind of complacent because you know John Cena is going to win it. Then again, I truly don't think um, Punk is going to take... You know, he's going to officially leave WWE. He might be gone for like maybe, let's say, a month or so to get like a little break. But I don't think he's completely done with the WWE. I think it's great that he's done this, though. I think it's great that he hasn't signed up. He haven't resigned his contract yet because he should make them thirsty for him. He should make them want them to throw whatever they need to do to get him to entice him to resign again because he is that damn good. He's a freaking amazing talent. And he should have been the heavyweight champion and not the Miz a long time ago. Let's be real here. But, uh... Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing his match with John Cena, and I've just been really happy to see Punk getting a lot of spotlight lately. So let's talk about Kelly Kelly. A lot of people were asking me what I thought about her winning the Divas title. You know what? I think good for her. You know, I'm not her biggest fan. I still think she needs to improve more in, with her in ring skill because it just seems like she has done like baby steps in, in the ring work. But uh, compared to Brie Bella winning the title, you know, I really could care less if Kelly Kelly won. You know, good for her. If they can get the title to Brie Bella, who, who's like less talented than most of the Divas there, then Kelly Kelly deserves the title nonetheless. I mean, I still don't consider the Divas title a real title. The women's title will always be, you know, the real title to me. But uh, this now kind of leaves a void in other, you know, face Divas like Beth Phoenix, Gail Kim, Natalia. You know, I, even Eve, there's no way they're going to win the title now with Kelly Kelly as a champion. So now this leads to us wanting to get stronger, you know, female heels. Melina and Gail Kim has been having a series of great matches on Superstars. And I know people are not even watching that at all, but they have had some series of great matches. They even fought again on Superstars this week. So, uh... It would be cool to see, you know, Melina, even though I'm not her biggest fan either, you know, even though, but she's a really good heel. I like her as a heel. Maurice, who knows, they might put her back in the spotlight again as a heel again. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what Kelly Kelly does with this title reign. I hope Brie Bella doesn't win the title back. We don't need that to happen. But, uh, you know, good for Kelly Kelly. I was happy with her reaction. You know, a lot of people thought it was too much. But come on, you know, good for the girl. They give her a title because they obviously see something good with her and she is extremely popular and over with the fans and she does seem like a genuine nice sweet girl so I gotta say I got some DVDs in the mail recently that I want to talk about finally bought finally bought the final chapter of WSU people have been raving about this ladder match the main event with Mercedes Martinez and Andrew Arsenian this match truly was epic of mass proportions I mean seriously I know people were talking about it for months, and I'm shocked I didn't even buy the DVD myself until recently, but and I actually saw the match online anyway, but I wanted to support them and buy their DVD, and actually, this Saturday, they're going to have a show in New Jersey, and I bought tickets to go to their show, but I'm not sure if I'm able to go yet, because I need to get find out, you know, the show starts an hour before I get out of work, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to get to New Jersey. But uh, I'm going to try my best to go to the, to the next WSU show. I've never, been to, I've never been to a WSU show before, so I want to see these girls in action. This DVD is freaking amazing. It had some duds in the matches, but the main event alone truly was five-star spectacular in terms of women's wrestling. The best women's match in a very, very long time. Go and pick up this cheap DVD. 
it's worth the money. Also, had to get the Chris Jericho DVD. Really good story. You know, the thing with WWE is they make great biopics. They are the best at them. And this is a great biopic of Jericho and some really awesome, amazing matches. I actually saw this first on uh, WWE 24-7. So once I saw this, I was like, you know, I got to buy the DVD. And it's worth it. Completely worth it. Go and get this as well. Also, I had to get the Randy Savage DVD. Even though I complained about it was not being a biopic of him. But the matches on here are amazing. The promos they've shown on here are amazing. I hate the fact that Maria and Matt Stryker are hosting this. Even though I love Matt Stryker. But, uh, you know, Maria is pretending like she actually knew what she's talking about here. Like, come on, seriously, you're not a wrestling fan. But now, I hope, now they will make a biopic of Randy Savage's life and career. And we'll have people talk about his life. And if they do, it's going to be an amazing DVD and I can't wait to get it. But this DVD is great for matches and promos alone. Go out and get it. And of course, last but not least, I just got this in the mail yesterday, the WCW Monday Nitro DVD. Now, I got a lot to talk about with WCW for the simple fact I was a huge, huge WCW fan back in the day. This is before the Monday Night Wars. Before it, I was watching WCW Saturday Night, Pro, I was watching all these shows from WCW, and then that's when they finally started making Nitro. I remember the first Nitro telecast. I was like, like so freaking like amped up for it because here I am watching two wrestling shows and you know at the back then in that in those days there wasn't DVR so I had my VHS and I would record remember all the DVD, uh, the VHS tape you see back here behind me that was mostly Nitro Raw pay-per-views I recorded over the years I was a madman with my v VHS I mean I would record like crazy so back in those days it wasn't a DVR so I would have to flip back in the channel like I have my freaking like remote control and I'm like flipping back and forth back and forth and I hated that I used to miss so much action but I'm trying to flip back and forth to see both the action but I was crazy and to watch Nitro and Raw at the same time and I loved it I freaking loved it Nitro was great WCW was great and I know a lot of people bitch about it they had their piss poor moments yes but they had a lot of great talent they had great storylines they had so many good matches and this best of WCW Nitro DVD is pretty damn good. It's hosted by D DDP Diamond Dallas Page. Great to see him back. And I just watched this and just like have a smile on my face because they show some great matches and great clips. I do suggest everyone to get this. You know, it's a really good remembrance of the good old days of wrestling in a sense back in the 90s. So, yeah, definitely just want to talk about those DVDs really fast and hope everyone's having a good day. You know, I want to talk about TNA, but kind of like I have been watching Impact but I will say this their whole uh, Wrestling Matters segment I think is a great uh, promotional stunt I think it's a great slogan you know for them to say Pro Wrestling Matters that's great I like to hear the word Pro Wrestling in the mainstream not Sports Entertainment you know what I'm saying so uh, yeah definitely I'm happy about it even though the Pro Wrestling aspect in TNA is kind of questionable but I still think they, I like the, so, the slogans and the sayings here. But uh, yeah, just wanted to quickly talk about that really fast. Hope everyone's having a great day. I know I am. And I'm going to come back with some more wrestling topics later on. Talk to you later. Peace.